lot of issues around the technology, around uh, in airline space, in software systems that provide for our financial um, facilities, in government department service delivery. Um, throughout our society, it's ubiquitous, ICT, and more and more and more as we get the Internet of Things with uh, your smartphone, talking to your fridge, talking to your webcam, talking to the government department for your social security benefits. Uh, it's, it's pervasive and it's really misunderstood. It's used and it's used well, but it's misunderstood. And it's um, my job to ensure that professionalism is injected into the creation, management and operation of ICTs. I think there's a sense of carelessness, couldn't care, don't care, don't know, but it's because they don't know and they don't think about it, it's just there. It's like the television set. Do we have worries about the television set? Samsung released a television that had a voice controlled operation if you turned on the, the, the webcam and the voice control. So it was then monitoring every word that was said in the lounge room. Did people care? Well, no, not until the media brought it to their attention, and that was fairly recent. So it, it, is, a, it is a problem when we realise, and when people find out they've been misled, there's a backlash. And that's anti-progressive in my view, it's, it's anti-innovation, and I don't want to see that. Innovation is the way of the future, and ICTs are pervasive. Your internet of things that are coming up is going to mean that your fridge can report it to the repairer that it, it's not working anymore, and they'll ring you to make an appointment. All very convenient stuff, and all very good stuff. Um, so we don't want the society to react negatively to the opportunities of um, uh, technology. But I do worry about driverless cars, for example. They are on the road and they're perfectly uh, predictable in how they'll respond to situations, but they're sharing the same road that you and I are on and we're not that predictable. So how does it mesh? How does it work safely? They too are somewhat ignorant. The, the company says, let's produce X, let's research X, then let's produce X. We'll get some government backing on this perhaps and voila, you have uh, driverless cars uh, emerging and everybody's doing it because they can see that there's, that's the next big thing and we're all interested in the next big thing. Um, I think we need to get the message out to the people who are capable of producing this technology that there's another dimension to what they do. It's great to be technically competent, to be superior in what you do, but that superiority comes at a price. We used to call it noblesse oblige, I think, in the old days, and the noblesse oblige here is they must be aware of the social consequences of what they're doing, and if not deal with them, at least acknowledge them and recognise them. IP3 is interested in professionalism in ICT practice, and it's our message to build partnerships to get these messages more pervasively themselves out in the community. That's what we do.